Okay, we're going for the Horde Rune Christmas achievement. And to do that, we're going to go to single player um, and treasure mode. And we're going to pick a map that has only one dragon. So, see some of these maps have two or more dragons? We don't want those. Uh, so, something like this, this one pane should be fine. And since it's only one dragon, no one else needs to join. And we will start the game. Now, uh, our goal is to incinerate 10 thieves uh, that come to try to steal our treasure. Now, to that end, that means that we actually want uh, a lot of these towns and such to build up uh, for us. We don't want to, um, we don't want to interfere too much. So the beginning of the game is going to be a bunch of waiting. I can, for example. But uh, we will want to get some gold and do some things because we want the experience to level up. We just don't want to destroy towns entirely. Uh, basically, we're definitely going to want speed and maybe some fire uh, upgrades in order to burn the thieves before they get away from us. That's the key. So if you haven't played uh, the war tutorial, which you probably should, because it's relatively simple but not necessarily very intuitive. Oh no, a knight. Oh man, that knight almost killed me. Uh, so you see my health bar, represented by the red, is low. But once I go back home to my horde pile, uh, I will uh, my health will recharge. So uh, when I it'll prompt me to hit space once I have enough upgrade points, and I will spend the first one on speed. There we go. So now, as you can see, I fly a lot faster, and that allows me to catch up to these parts and such more. So in these cases, uh, I don't want to burn down the windmill or the town itself, but um, burning down the adjacent fields gets me gold. And the more gold I get and bring back to my home, the board pile, uh, the more upgrades I get. Oh god, this guy can kill me. And if you die, uh, you basically just automatically fly back home to recharge. But you lose whatever you're carrying. Uh, so as these uh, as these archers become more prominent, they're going to be a problem. Uh, so now, as you can see, I'm much faster. Should probably up start upgrading my breath soon or next. Oh, these archers. Uh, besides archers, there will also be wizard powers, which, um, oh god, a knight. Uh, the knights are basically the mobile units that will attack you. But as long as you can fly faster than them and have upgrade speed, they're not really much of a problem. Unless they get between you and something. So, come on, thieves, I'm waiting for you. Oh yeah, princess. Once you uh, burn down a princess carriage, the knights will come to try to rescue you, which is sort of amusing. Princesses simply give you uh, money for however long uh, you keep them with you. So that's a thief right there. Got him. Okay, so that's one thief. Let's upgrade my fire breath some. Another thief. I really should upgrade my health, uh, since even with my fast speed, things will be killing me pretty easily as well. So I'd say, in order of upgrades, I go for speed first, then your fire breath, then health, uh, in order to do this achievement. See, you can only carry so much uh, gold back with you in one trip. You often need to make multiple trips. There's a thief. 
out of me. So that's, what, two thieves so far? Shouldn't take too much longer. And as they accumulate more gold, I will eventually level up further. Ow. Hey, the thief. As you can see, he's uh, dressed up actually a bit like a mini Santa. Or maybe an elf. Okay, that's another thief, so that's three thieves so far. Oh, thank you. Knights can really knock me back all the way to spawn in one hit now. Which means if they knock me while they're trying to take a princess back, uh, I'm probably not going to be able to capture her again before they complete the rescue. Ah, here's another thief. Got him. Uh, go ahead and save the princess. I don't really mind too much. Oh no. Uh, see that thing shooting fireballs? That's a wizard tower. Not good. Uh, if I'm gonna upgrade, I'm probably gonna upgrade my health now. So I can actually take some hits from this. Or this wizard tower. Well, maybe not too many hits, though. But unlike the archers, these wizard towers have good range. And it's like a no, thief, no! I need to catch up with this one. There we go. So, five thieves now? I, I may not be keeping good count. Oh, no, this isn't good. Come on, thief, die. I got the thief. Why are you trying to kill me, Knight? Go away. Ooh. I haven't stolen any princesses. Oh, it's those archers that are killing me, so... Yeah, when wizard towers build up next to each other and archers, they're a real pain. As you can see, they do huge damage, have long range. Even with my health upgrades. Okay, that's another thief down. And I got it. That I must have been undercounting because Ruined Christmas has just shown up in the lower left corner uh, within two minutes before the map ended. So yeah, you should be able to easily do this before the map ends. See, there's an 11th thief I just got right there. And no need to play this through to the end. Uh, I already have the achievement. So uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Getting Ruined Christmas is pretty easy in Horde.